Starting an online master's degree in computer science is a huge commitment in every aspect of your life, so it's best to be prepared for it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student in computer science. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and my growth as a software developer. If you're thinking about enrolling in an online master's degree in computer science, you need to be prepared for what's about to come. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the things that you should absolutely prepare for and the things that you shouldn't stress that much about. The first thing we're gonna talk about is preparing for your personal life. To me, this is the most important thing that you need to prepare for. Not only will deciding to start an online master's degree in computer science affect you, but it'll affect your family and your friends as well. You'll want to prepare in these three aspects in advance, time, stress, and relationships. First, let's talk about the time component. Well, an online master's degree in computer science can eat up anywhere from 20 to 40 hours a week, depending on your course load. For someone with a full-time job or a family or even both, this can become a huge impact on your personal life. You're gonna to wanna to think in advance about what you're gonna sacrifice to make time to pass your courses. Specifically, think about the leisure activities you can cut out to make room for study. Things like TV and video games are the first things to go. This doesn't mean you won't ever have time for them, but prepare to have time to do less of them. I still get a game or two of League of Legends in a week or catch TV show after I finish my school tasks, but it's definitely less frequent than my pre computer science master's degree days. If you have a significant other or frequent family time commitments, it's important to get out in front of any potential conflicts by discussing the time requirements that are gonna be needed for you to take your online master's degree in computer science before you start your first class. You wanna discuss when you plan on studying and have agreed upon block of time that you're gonna do your coursework. For me with two small children, this means I do my coursework between 8 p.m. and midnight, Mondays through Fridays. So I usually leave my weekends open to have family time. Next, let's talk about stress. While the time component we just discussed is gonna add a lot more stress to your life based on the new deadlines and time commitments you're gonna have on top of your personal life and your professional life. You'll want to know in advance that there will be times when you're up late at night trying to troubleshoot a programming bug or cramming for an exam. You can reduce the stress by knowing how much coursework you can handle and plan accordingly. For example, my first semester in my master's degree in computer science, I took two classes and that was a huge mistake. Now I only take one class and it's vastly reduced the amount of stress in my life and made my work life balance a lot better. Third, let's talk about relationships. Well, all of these components compound on each other. So more stress and less time is obviously gonna have a big impact on your relationships. You're gonna to wanna to talk to your family and friends in your inner circle that you're about to pursue an online master's degree in computer science and that it's a significant commitment and there's gonna be a lot of expectations from you over the next year or two. Planting the seed early in the process will make it easier when you inevitably have to turn down a happy hour or dinner in favor of watching lectures or working on a homework assignment. Okay, now let's talk about preparing your work life. Well. It's likely that your work life isn't gonna be as impacted by a CS master's degree as your personal life, but it still will impact it from time to time. For that reason, you wanna let your boss or peers know about your master's degree, unless that is you are trying to keep it a secret, i.e. you're looking to jump careers. You will want to let them know that there could be times that you'll need to take time off work to study or take exams. If your company is helping sponsor you in your program, they might even have benefits for study days. You will only learn about these benefits if you talk to people about your program. Next, let's talk about preparing your environment. Well, I think that preparing your environment is actually a very underrated part of getting prepared for online master's in computer science and something I think that you should have done before day one of your first semester. The two things that you should prepare for are your working space and your equipment. As for your working space, you'll absolutely wanna know where your dedicated workspace is before you start any courses. Ideally, you'll have an isolated, quiet space like a spare bedroom, office, or basement that you can do all your studying in. I know that everyone doesn't have this luxury, but even a free space on a kitchen table will do. Just make sure wherever you pick, it can accommodate a place for a computer or a laptop, writing space, and has good internet connectivity. Having a dedicated place where you know you'll be studying at each time reduces friction into having to move around and find a spot each night you need to study. Next, let's talk about equipment. 
There are only a handful of components that you need, but you should have before you start your online master's degree in computer science. First, you're gonna want an adequate laptop or desktop with a modern OS and reasonable storage. You'll need to be able to install various programs depending on your courses, but some examples are MySQL, MongoDB, Tableau, Docker, and Neo4j. Next, you'll need a webcam and microphone. You'll be more than likely attending office hours or have a group project where you need to attend a web conference of some sort. If you have a laptop, this is already taken care of, but a cheap webcam for your desktop will suffice as well. Next, you're gonna want a reliable internet connection. Well, obviously, since you're doing an online master's degree in computer science, all of your assignments are gonna be digital, all your coursework's gonna be digital, that's gonna require internet access. You don't need the fastest internet to complete the job, but you want it to be reliable and stable, and you don't want to be fighting disconnects all the time, because then it'll just frustrate you and make your life harder and add to your stress levels. Last, let's talk about preparing your skills. Well, I actually think when most people think about preparing for a master's degree in computer science, they think about preparing the technical skills required to complete their coursework. Imposter syndrome is going to kick in, and you're going to feel like you're inadequate, or you're not prepared, or not as smart as your peers. I know this happened to me, but I just think that preparing technically for your coursework is probably the least important thing to prepare for before starting your degree. You already got accepted in the program, so that means you're already smart enough and you have the requisite coursework to be able to handle the program. To me, it's a waste of time to start brushing up on programming, algorithms, data structures, any other technical things that you think you might need because either you're not gonna use it or the professor is gonna give a quick background and cover it in the class that you're gonna be taking anyway. So the great John Wooden said, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. You're for sure gonna to wanna to have your personal and work life prepared for your new commitment and your online master's degree program, and as well as planning out your dedicated workspace and environment for studying. The effort for these items are so small and only take a couple hours, but preparing in advance will get you on the right path for success in your online master's degree in computer science. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling in an online master's degree in computer science program, check out my short playlist on the process. See you in there.